Markov decision processes provide a mathematical framework for modeling decision-making in situations where outcomes are partly random and partly under the control of a decision-maker. MDPs are useful for studying a wide range of optimization problems solved via dynamic programming and reinforcement learning. MDPs were known at least as early as the 1950s. A core body of research on Markov decision processes resulted from Ronald A. Howard's book published in 1960, Dynamic Programming and Markov Processes. They are used in a wide area of disciplines, including robotics, automated control, economics, and manufacturing. More precisely, a Markov decision process is a discrete time stochastic control process. At each time step, the process is in some state, and the decision-maker may choose any action that is available in state. The process responds at the next time step by randomly moving into a new state, and giving the decision-maker a corresponding reward. The probability that the process moves into its new state is influenced by the chosen action. Specifically, it is given by the state transition function. Thus, the next state depends on the current state and the decision-maker's action. But given and, it is conditionally independent of all previous states and actions. In other words, the state transitions of an MDP process satisfies the Markov property. Markov decision processes are an extension of Markov chains. The difference is the addition of actions and rewards. Conversely, if only one action exists for each state and all rewards are the same, a Markov decision process reduces to a Markov chain. Definition A Markov decision process is a five-tuple, where is a finite set of states, is a finite set of actions, is the probability that action in state at time will lead to state at time, is the immediate reward received after transition to state from state is the discount factor, which represents the difference in importance between future rewards and present rewards. Problem. The core problem of MDPs is to find a policy for the decision maker, a function that specifies the action that the decision maker will choose when in state. Note that once a Markov decision process is combined with a policy in this way, this fixes the action for each state and the resulting combination behaves like a Markov chain. The goal is to choose a policy that will maximize some cumulative function of the random rewards. Typically the expected discount is sum over a potentially infinite horizon, whereas the discount factor and satisfies is typically close to 1. Because of the Markov property, the optimal policy for this particular problem can indeed be written as a function of only, as assumed above, algorithms. MDPs can be solved by linear programming or dynamic programming. In what follows we present the latter approach. Suppose we know the state transition function and the reward function, and we wish to calculate the policy that maximizes the expected discounted reward. The standard family of algorithms to calculate this optimal policy requires storage for two arrays indexed by state value, which contains real values, and policy which contains actions. At the end of the algorithm, will contain the solution and will contain the discounted sum of the rewards to be earned by following that solution from state. The algorithm has the following two kinds of steps, which are repeated in some order for all the states until no further changes take place. They are defined recursively as follows. Their order depends on the variant of the algorithm. One can also do them for all states at once or state by state and more often to some states than others. As long as no state is permanently excluded from either of the steps, the algorithm will eventually arrive at the correct solution. Notable variance value iteration in value iteration, which is also called backward induction, the function is not used. Instead, the value of is calculated within whenever it is needed. Shapley's 1953 paper on stochastic games included as a special case the value iteration method for MDPs, but this was recognized only later on. Substituting the calculation of into the calculation of gives the combined step, whereas the iteration number, 
value iteration starts it and as a guess of the value function, it then iterates, repeatedly computing for all states, until converges with the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side. Policy iteration in policy iteration, step 1 is performed once, and then step 2 is repeated until it converges. Then step 1 is again performed once and so on. Instead of repeating step 2 to convergence, it may be formulated and solved as a set of linear equations. This variant has the advantage that there is a definite stopping condition. When the array does not change in the course of applying step 1 to all states, the algorithm is completed. Modified policy iteration In modified policy iteration, step 1 is performed once, and then step 2 is repeated several times. Then step 1 is again performed once and so on. Prioritized sweeping in this variant. The steps are preferentially applied to states which are in some way important, whether based on the algorithm or based on use. Extensions and generalizations. A Markov decision process is a stochastic game with only one player. Partial observability The solution above assumes that the state is known when action is to be taken, otherwise cannot be calculated. When this assumption is not true, the problem is called a partially observable Markov decision process or POMDP. A major advance in this area was provided by Bernettis and Kate Harker in Optimal Adaptive Policies for Markov Decision Processes. In this work a class of adaptive policies that possess uniformly maximum convergence rate properties for the total expected finite horizon reward were constructed under the assumptions of finite state action spaces and irreducibility of the transition law. These policies prescribe that the choice of actions, at each state and time period, should be based on indices that are inflations of the right-hand side of the estimated average reward optimality equations. Reinforcement learning If the probabilities or rewards are unknown, the problem is one of reinforcement learning. For this purpose it is useful to define a further function, which corresponds to taking the action and then continuing optimally. While this function is also unknown, experience during learning is based on pairs, that is, I was in state and I tried doing and happened. Thus, one has an array and uses experience to update it directly. This is known as Q-learning. Reinforcement learning can solve Markov decision processes without explicit specification of the transition probabilities. The values of the transition probabilities are needed in value and policy iteration. In reinforcement learning, instead of explicit specification of the transition probabilities, the transition probabilities are accessed through a simulator that is typically restarted many times from a uniformly random initial state. Reinforcement learning can also be combined with function approximation to address problems with a very large number of states. Category theoretic interpretation other than the rewards, a Markov decision process can be understood in terms of category theory. Namely, let denote the Freemanoid with generating set A. Let this denote the Klylai category of the Giri monad. Then a functor encodes both the set S of states and the probability function P. In this way, Markov decision processes could be generalized from monoids to arbitrary categories. One can call the result a context-dependent Markov decision process because moving from one object to another in changes the set of available actions and the set of possible states. Continuous time Markov decision process In discrete time Markov decision processes, decisions are made at discrete time intervals. However, for continuous time Markov decision processes, decisions can be made at any time the decision maker chooses. In comparison to discrete time Markov decision process, Continuous time Markov decision process can better model the decision-making process for a system that has continuous dynamics, i.e., the system dynamics is defined by partial differential equations. Definition In order to discuss the continuous time Markov decision process, we introduce two sets of notations. If the state space and action space are finite, state space, action space, 
transition rate function, a reward function. If the state space and action space are continuous, state space, space of possible control, a transition rate function, a reward rate function such that, where is the reward function we discussed in previous case? Problem like the discrete time Markov decision processes. In continuous time Markov decision process we want to find the optimal policy or control which could give us the optimal expected integrated reward. Where linear programming formulation if the state space and action space are finite, we could use linear programming to find the optimal policy, which was one of the earliest approaches applied. Here we only consider the ergodic model, which means our continuous time MDP becomes an ergodic continuous time Markov chain under a stationary policy. Under this assumption, although the decision maker can make a decision at any time at the current state, he could not benefit more by taking more than one action. It is better for him to take an action only at the time when system is transitioning from the current state to another state. Under some conditions, if our optimal value function is independent of state R, we will have the following inequality. If there exists a function, then will be the smallest g satisfying the above equation. In order to find, we could use the following linear programming model. Primal linear program, dual linear program, is a feasible solution to the DLP if is non-native and satisfied the constraints in the DLP problem. A feasible solution to the DLP is said to be an optimal solution if for all feasible solution y to the DLP. Once we found the optimal solution, we could use those optimal solution to establish the optimal policies. Hamilton Jacobi Bellman equation in continuous time MDP. If the state space and action space are continuous, the optimal criterion could be found by solving Hamilton Jacobi Bellman partial differential equation. In order to discuss the HJB equation, we need to reformulate our problem D shows how the state vector change over time. Hamilton Jacobi Bellman equation is as follows. We could solve the equation to find the optimal control, which could give us the optimal value application. Continuous time Markov decision processes have applications in queuing systems, epidemic processes, and population processes. Alternative notations. The terminology and notation for MDPs are not entirely settled. There are two main streams, one focuses on maximization problems from contexts like economics, using the terms action, reward, value, and calling the discount factor or, while the other focuses on minimization problems from engineering and navigation, using the terms control, cost cost to go, and calling the discount factor. In addition, the notation for the transition probability varies. In addition, transition probability is sometimes written, or, rarely, constrained Markov decision processes. Constrained Markov decision processes are extensions to Markov decision process. There are three fundamental differences between MDPs and CMDPs. There are multiple costs incurred after applying an action instead of one. CMDPs are solved with linear programs only, and dynamic programming does not work. The final policy is dependent of the starting state. There are lots of applications for CMDP. It is recently being used in motion planning scenarios in robotics.